Just fabulous to be together again, just for this moment, just going to take a moment thinking about living in confinement, being trapped, or at least having to push through some things and feeling hard pressed. To, to get out of this feeling of um, confinement, I've been just at the end of the school day, which by the way, my parents are just really rocking doing school with my kids been fantastic but at the end of their school day we've been doing some exercise mostly going for a run um, and it helps me and then feel less confined but actually part of this run I have been feeling confined by my very own body as I cannot run as fast as my children anymore but many of you will know where we live and we live at the bottom of Gallagher Park same name that we have as a surname the park is i don't think it's named after us but it's named down the end of the road gallagher park and it's got a big hill 60 meters high if you know what gradient is it's a 15 percent gradient on the steepest part to run up and um as as i run up there with particularly with Sally jane we like to run together thomas often runs ahead and goes different ways but as we run up the hills you know my legs are screaming i'm in pain my lungs are burning my brow is full of sweat but you can see the top and it keeps you going and it gets closer and closer and then you're there. And if you've been to the top of the park, you'll know that, or the slag keep, if you lived here 20 plus years ago, you'll know that the view from the top is absolutely stunning. You can look north and you can see the, the imperious dominating skyline of the, of the Chiviet Hills. Or you can look out to the east and see the beautiful Northumberland coastline. Or you can look off to the west and, and view gorgeous green countryside. Stunning, stunning views. Stretch on for miles. And if you've ever run to the top of a hill, you'll know the relief that you get when you arrive, or possibly walking to the top of the hill too. So for a while, life is like this. It's like running up a hill, but I'm aware that often we just can't see the top. And it can feel so pointless to run this way when you're not sure when you're going to arrive or even what you're going to find when you do arrive there. This life we currently have is always, it's often burdened anyway, but this time it can be so much more burdensome. This feeling of being hard pressed, these aches, these pains. I want to tell you today, they are temporary. You are heading somewhere. And thank God, and I hope you can thank God too, that you can see what is coming, what you're heading towards. You can see the top of the hill, that one day, thanks to Jesus, you will throw off the confines of this day. And the Holy Spirit is given to us as a deposit, like a, an appetizer of what is to come. What an amazing gift, the comforter he's called, this Holy Spirit, God's presence in our lives, in us, has been given to us as an appetizer, just a glimpse of what's to come. And, it, and, it, and that view at the top of Gallagher Park doesn't even compare. I tell you, this Holy Spirit in my life, God would, he's, the awesome creator God has put the Holy, his Holy Spirit in my life and the peace and the joy and the comfort that brings. And to know it's just a little glimpse of what is to come. It causes me to rejoice rather than despair. When I'm running uphill, when I'm feeling confined, I can rejoice because God has put his Holy Spirit in me and it is a promise of what is to come. Your addicted, aching, painful body, the suffering, the groaning we see around the world, the imprisonment that so many of us feel, it will be gone. And as the Psalmist says in Psalm 18, you will stand in wide open spaces. Praise God. Let's just finish by reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. For a while we are in this tent, we groan and are burdened, because we do not wish to be unclothed, but to cl be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Now the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is God, who has given us the spirit as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. Guys, keep going. Keep on running up that hill and you will stand in wide open spaces. Lovely to be with you and I hope and pray that you know the Holy Spirit in your life.